hey guys and welcome back to another video in today's video i'll be talking about state uplifting in react so in react there are multiple ways of uh, sharing data across components it can be via context api uh, redux a global store uh, state management tool um, then it can be drop drilling etc so these are the few approaches that you can use but uh, this also involves uh, state uplifting and in this uh, uh, the basic idea around this is to share state from a child component to a parent not exactly but uh, using props and all so uh, over here in this example um, what we are doing is uh, on click of this button this is basically a child component and this is uh, a parent component so on clicking of this button what we are doing is we are incrementing a state which is available in the uh, parent and uh, we are uh, receiving a prop that is value and a callback handler uh, from the parent via prop to the child component so like uh, getting into the code and everything uh, before that uh, i'll just uh, uh, summarize you what exactly is uh, happening in uplifting part so uh, it is basically you know to uh, share data uh, from the child to parent and uh, the parent makes sure that the state across child uh, component components uh, remain in sync so yeah this is just a general idea of state uplifting uh, i'll just uh, add few blogs around this uh, concept uh, in the description so do check the description box and uh, let's navigate to the code so uh, this is my uh, react app and this is the parent and child component as you can see we have uh, a state uh, which is count and we are rendering it uh, in the uh, p tag so initially it would be zero so it it's a uh, zero over here so there is a state in the parent component and we have a uh, function which handles the increment uh, operation uh, over here so over here we have the child component uh, with uh, two props that is one value and a uh, button click which is a callback function uh, utilized by the child so the value initially is one and the button on click is basically the increment uh, counter uh, method so within this increment uh, method uh, what exactly we are doing we are just uh, setting the state and incrementing the value by one uh, pretty simple right so we are sending it uh, uh, using uh, a prop over here uh, to the child and uh, this uh, handle click is been attached to a on click of this button and uh, it's it's just you know incrementing uh, the value on the click of a button that's uh, pretty much i have to say in this case because it is pretty self explanatory and uh, this is what uh, state uplifting in react means so uh, you know uh, using props and the callback functions uh, from a child component you can handle uh, or send the state or, or utilize the props to get uh, get the values from a parent uh, to the child component and uh, make sure the parent is always in sync so whatever uh, uh, data or the state uh, within the child multiple childs it can be uh, is always in sync with the parent so um, in this scenario the parent is handling the state across uh, child component so this is the basic idea around uh, state uplifting uh, and it is um, quite complicated when it turns to you know a big complex app but uh, if you simplify things uh, it can be uh, straightforward usually um, when you need to you when you utilize uh, prop drilling you don't use uh, uh, state uplifting uh, usually in that case we use context api or some you know global state management uh, library but uh, yeah in some scenarios you definitely you, you need to 
uh, send uh, the child data to the parent or you know you need to convey the parent to manage the state across childs so this was a you know simple idea around uh, state uplifting so this is nothing uh, so this is just like a demonstration uh, on click it is just incrementing the count by uh, one so yeah uh, that's it uh, for this video guys you can you know try out few things you can add multiple child components and one parent component and you know try out few things uh, let me know if you have any questions or queries uh, regarding this in the comment section uh, below and uh, uh, yeah i think uh, that's it for this video guys hope you liked it and uh, see you in the next one